Hi, you can fellas. This is Rahal. Today, I wanted to share something that is really personal and also really dear to my heart. I want to have a heart out with you, and I've always do, but this is actually something that I haven't said. I want you guys to know about, and it is how I met my husband. It is a very amazing thing. It's just that I don't think everybody should go through what I went through, but I, there's similar things that people go through. I want them to actually see there is a hope in the process of what you go through even heartbroken because I was heartbroken before I met my husband I was disappointed by someone that have waited for 13 years and but you know what God has ways how he makes things happen and the key is not giving up like I said always in my videos never give up I want you guys to believe that there is something bigger than what you're looking at and so this is what happened actually I didn't know how to let go of what my past was because you know when you have had someone you loved for 13 years and just being like your whole world just crashed down and you can't even imagine what's gonna be next I believe you would understand and so that was the moment I had to actually make a decision and knowing that I have to let go I have to let go of the past and I had to hold on to the future. And that's when this happened. And I met my husband through a phone, someone that I know who know him and that person who knew me um, actually introduced us to each other. And it was actually something that I, I don't think normal people go through. <laughs> this is extraordinary thing that has happened. And after we actually, the first time that we say hello on the phone, we knew, we knew, we knew we were supposed to be together. We meant, we were meant to be together forever. And I know it might sound like, is this weird? <laughs> I know it is weird, but that was what happened for me. It doesn't have to happen to everyone or you, but I want you guys to know that what has happened to me and, you know, get to know me, what I have been through and knowing how I got to where I got to. And so after that, it was just about 29 days of knowing him, um, we decided that we were going to get married. And he is in Ethiopia. Believe it or not, this happened <laughs> through a phone, but it was a long-distance relationship. And I had to go to all the way to Ethiopia and got married with my lovely husband. And it's amazing that time. I have no idea what kind of person this person is and how I'm we're going to fit. None of that did not matter. I'm not saying that everybody should go through what I went through or do what I did. It's just that I just want you guys to know the amazingness part of it. Not giving up how a beautiful thing comes out of the worst situation. And you thought you have ended having a relationship forever and all of a sudden you're able to actually experience something magnificent and this amazing I have no idea how I can even explain it a lot of stuff that I'm not telling you but I want you guys to see um, the process of having to go through what I went through it did not break me and it, it actually made me stronger to be a better person for my future husband and so whatever you experience I just want you to know it becomes beautiful when you let it okay and um, then don't give up about anything it doesn't have to be relationships but there's other things that you know we give up quick you know we have to stay standing steadfast so we see what's next I want you guys to get encouraged. And I want you guys to meet my husband. So the next clip will be about, you know, talk, like getting to know him. So I'll talk to you soon.